Welcome back to Mr. V's for another video blog here at CycloneFanatic.com. I'm Chris Williams, joined by my good buddy Tim Sitzman. How nice, you doing? Nice to see you. Did you eat too much at Thanksgiving? I did. Yes, boy, so did I, but what a nice time to get together with family. I, I think I ate like three meals too many, to be <laughs> honest with you. Well, it's a good time, and uh, there's a lot of great sports going on in the state of Iowa, isn't there? Oh, you're not kidding. Yeah. We're Tough night on Wednesday at Hilton Coliseum with the Iowa State basketball team losing. But, hey, before we go there, Tim, Black Friday, how was it here well, at the store? You know, Black Friday for our kind of store isn't as important as it is the malls. Everybody yeah. gets up early and they're out there shopping and they're in back in bed taking a nap in the afternoon. But our our weekend was fantastic. And, you know, our clientele love the the uh, atmosphere that we have, the, the openness of the store. They like to be able to park up front and in front of the store come in we wrap packages for them and it's it's a it's an experience and we have great selection right now we invite you to come in and get that gift for your special one male female we have a great women's department we have shoes we have men's clothing for any size so stop and see us uh, it, you'll enjoy what you have to see and gift certificates too right oh gift cards are great and it gives an opportunity for you whoever you want to give to come back and pick what they want so we do a lot of gift cards thanks right. for mentioning that yeah that's great yeah well good deal and uh Take care of your holiday shopping here at Mr. B's in 1995 Northwest 86th Street in Clive. We'll get to that basketball team real quick. Tim, you and I were just talking before we went on the air. You see a lot of real negativity out there regarding the program after two losses. You know, I'm not going to be an apologist for anybody. I'm not going to tell people what they should think or what their opinion should be on a given topic. But I think people sometimes just need to take a deep breath. Oh, there's no, <laughs> there is no question. And, you know, a lot of us have played athletics over the years growing up. And, you know, the coach has got a tough job. And I, I think Greg McDermott, for one, didn't lose that ball game. You know, mm -hmm. that, that ball game was a layup away from being won. What a great game to yeah. watch for the state of Iowa. And, and hats off to you and I. They have a, a fantastic team. Yeah. And, and I, and I believe that they're going to go a long way and maybe be in the NCAA as well as the Cyclones, as we talked about off the air. And, yeah. Uh, I really think it was a fun game for a sports fan. I know the clone fans are very disappointed at this moment, but there's going to be some big wins down the down the pike. I agree. I th in, as you alluded to, I still think this is an NCAA tournament team at Iowa State this year, and I'm pretty darn sure that Northern Iowa is as well. I, mean, I, I, I would I would speculate that Northern Iowa is going to be certainly in the running for their title in their conference and, and, and on to the NCAA. Uh, the, you know, the weak league in basketball is Iowa right now, but, you know, they're a young team, and who knows? And, and he's trying his best over there. And mm -hmm. I think it's fun to just watch sports in Iowa, and we have three really great coaches, and, and Drake's coming along, yep. and, and we, we just got to enjoy what we have. It's a small small state, and it's fun to watch good basketball, good football. Yeah, you're right, and that, the football talk actually leads us up. A lot going on with Iowa State's bull situation yeah. right now is there were some reports that came out yesterday that said that the Cyclones could end up in the inside bowl. They might get picked over Missouri. Um, some comments from the Big 12 commissioner today. He was quoted in the Kansas City Star saying this is not over. Um, he didn't really go to bat for the Iowa State Cyclones. You can read more of my thoughts on that on the uh, website right now. But, Tim, really, to me, the big deal now we look forward to is the big wrestling match coming up on yeah, Sunday. Yeah, you know, that's always a, it's always a big deal, especially for the wrestling fans. And i got to be open here. I'm not, I haven't followed wrestling very much and don't have a lot of insight on it. But I talked to some friends that are big wrestling fans, and they said that's just a huge, huge deal in the state of Iowa. And yeah. When you go to those, for those who are wrestling fans, when you go to that matchup between Iowa and Iowa State, it's it's like a national title. Those They're it always is. in the hunt. <laughs> they're always up there uh, for the NCAA title and uh you know i always had the the historic uh, uh record of all those ncaa titles i think they won 10 in a row that's kind of like uh, the bruins of, of mm -hmm. old winning the basketball titles and it, they, but iowa state's had some national titles and i think they're going to be in there this year again against those hawkeyes number one versus number two yeah. on sunday night and i'm with you i don't know a lot about the sport but i can tell you one thing about the sport of wrestling i i, I think i respect wrestlers oh about as much if not more than any other athlete in the world because that is one skill that's one craft that not just anybody could go out and do you know what's interesting about wrestling to me chris is there's nobody to blame exactly you know we can't blame the coach we can't not blame greg mcdermott no, if you lose a wrestling they match. never talk about the coaches and they they lost the wrestling match they talk about the wrestler and i i think that there's a lot to be said about that and you know a, a lot of the coaches forget it's about the players mm -hmm. and 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 I think we got some coaches in the state of Iowa that are, that are just phenomenal. They, they, it's about the, the kids that are out there playing the sport. It's Brands and Jackson number one, the yeah, inaugural showdown on Sunday. Unbelievable. 
Well, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to be there at Hilton Coliseum. I'm, I'm really excited. To, this is my first Iowa-Iowa State wrestling match that I'll ever well, take Well, enjoy in. that. It, yeah. And come back on uh, maybe next week we can talk about it a little uh, bit. Hopefully so. And uh, I'm going to throw it out there. I hope the Cyclones get a victory. That will be pretty cool um, to get that place rocking Hilton Coliseum. I know they're taking the curtain down. And they're expecting a huge crowd on Sunday. It's going to be a big night on Sunday because not only is the wrestling match, but the basketball or the football teams football that is. The team gets announced. Yes. Yeah, yeah, both um, Iowa and Iowa State are going to find out their Bulls situation. So in Hilton Coliseum, all the Cyclone and Hawkeye fans will be getting some news probably about simultaneously. It should make for a great atmosphere at Hilton Coliseum. It should be great. And, I, you know, my personal opinion on the Bull thing, is there's so many things going around. I haven't followed it all. It's just going, changing all the time. I'd like to see the Auburn matchup myself, and that's just yep. a personal thing. I, I hey, just like to see us play uh, – the Auburn Tigers and see if we can show them what uh, the clones are about. You know what, though? That can't happen anymore. Not anymore. Because I forgot about Gene that. Chizik, yeah, they accepted a bid somewhere else. He's trying to get away from I Paul Rhodes and the side. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. I sure would have liked that matchup. But maybe oh, uh, maybe kidding. down the road we'll get a chance to play him. Uh, you're not kidding. That Maybe like a national title game somewhere. <laughs> Let's hope. Let's all right. Hope. Well, you got to keep dreaming and re re reaching uh, for the stars, right? Yeah, and I'm dreaming that all you clone fans stop in and buy a gift for your loved ones. That'd be great. All right. Well, we, yeah, do that because Tim Sitzman's a great guy, and he is the world's fastest gift rapper. Yeah, I do that well. We did. We declare that last week. I think. <laughs> Thanks for watching today, everybody. Here at Mr. B's at 1995 Northwest 86th Street in Clive for Tim Sitzman. I'm Chris Williams.